Hey, hey, friends, this is Ron from Optimize Effects. Welcome to another EA update video. In this video, we're going to be going through all the robots that I've had running for the last month or so. All the accounts are now pretty much um, not working. So uh, they're all invalid. I was looking for the word invalid. Uh, so they're all invalid. Uh, they're all FBS accounts. Um, some of them are still going, but um, I've got some results to share. This one is still going. I just started it, but it has not gone well uh, since I started it a few days ago. Uh, but yeah, I've got some really cool results to share and some really wild stuff to share as well. Uh, there was one EA that um, pretty much 200%ed the account and then lost it all, uh, which is what I expected it to happen. But I mean, like... It had a pretty good run for a while and then everything just went downhill very quickly and I'll share that uh, in the middle of this video soon. So what have I been doing lately? Um, so I've been up to quite a lot of things. Uh, I've got uh, a new EA that I've been building. Uh, it's called Currency Engine. It's not anywhere yet. I haven't shared it with anyone. There's still some a lot of bugs, uh, a lot of features for me to iron out with it. But um, so far, so good. It's going OK. Um, it's one of those ones that's going to take uh, a fairly long time for me to refine and get good uh, before I'll start sharing anything about it. Um, another cool thing that I've started doing is I've built a learning platform. Uh, so what's going to happen with that is basically it's like YouTube, but you can uh, you can basically buy a course and I'll be doing courses and things like that through my own platform. On that platform as well will be a robot library, uh, which I'll start building. And basically this library will have uh, all the EA names. Um, it'll have set files and any information on the EA if you do a search. Uh, so that, I'm still deciding what to do with that. It might be a paid thing, it might not be. Um, you might have a few searches um, a month or something like that. I don't know, but I think it'd be really cool to have a library of of robots that can be rated and have all the information there. Sometimes uh, it is very time consuming, especially for me when I'm uh, setting up new robots and I've got like 10 or 20 to test and going out and finding or Googling all the settings, all the things that they need, all the set files and all of that kind of stuff. Um, it would be really nice to have all that in one place. So that's kind of the idea with that. Um, so yeah, I've been really, really busy. So without further ado, let's get stuck into some of these EAs and how they've been trading in the past month. This one here in front of me right now is uh, ProMaster EA, and it hasn't been trading for the past month. Uh, but I thought I'd chuck it on uh, a chart here to see how it would go. Uh, it hasn't gone good so far, but there was a, a rate cut on EURUSD, I believe, um, which caused EURUSD just to head to the moon after a, quite a lot. Uh, basically, the whole of March, it was in a downtrend. And now that uh, that rate cut has come in and it's right out of that. <laughs> um, it's basically back halfway to where it was, you know, in, in the middle of March um, after this bit of news here. So... Yeah, wow. Well, um, not many robots or EAs can handle, you know, moves like this with no retracement at all. There's like, there's literally no retracements. Um, and EURUSD has done a lot of this um, for in March as well. So just keep uh, keep aware of that. Uh, but it is at a pretty good resistance level here. So we can see here. Uh, there's resistance, well there's support that's now resistance. So it's at this area here, so we might see a pullback, or we might see it just keep going up. Uh, you never know. So there's those two things there. Right, so not really much for me to talk about with this Forex Master or Pro Master. Um, there's some stopouts. There's this other one that I was testing and it didn't go very well at all. Uh, so I'm not going to talk about that. This one here is this Expert Trader V6, and this is the one that done. Uh, it had an account balance uh, at one stage of I think I started it at 50k, and it um, more than doubled 
the account. I think it almost got to 200. Almost, yeah. So there was a day where it lost 67 grand and a day there where it lost 44 grand and now we're at 8 grand. So we're back to, you know, it pretty much blew the account. But um, for a, quite a few weeks there, it was going really, really well, like crazy. And all I did, uh, all I did, I'll show you here. It's pretty simple. Uh, was set the lot size to one lot. Um, here we go, one lot. And I'll just let it go. And the only currency pair that brought it undone, or the two actually, was Euro USD and Pound USD uh, before it blew up. So we can see here on the way down, it just it just blew up um, on on this big move down, which happened at the a little later to the end of March. Uh, and so that happened for Euro USD and Pound USD. Uh, if we have a look here, so it's the same same for both so when you've got two pairs that are doing the same kind of thing i mean even aud usd had the same thing in march i mean march was for me was uh was not a good month uh for trading robots because of probably because of this like at one stage you're going up really quick then there's a big resistance level here and it come back and kind of kept going um so that happened over like a couple of only a couple of days and it was pretty big moves really USD CAD, um, you know, it it experienced the same kind of thing, but reverse, obviously, because it's USD CAD and not XXX USD. And Euro CAD, it um, it didn't do too much. But look at this. Um, so the the pairs that made the most money was Euro USD and uh, USD CAD. But the funny thing is, is that um, Total profit here is pound USD negative 68, uh, which was that one here. Um, so it lost most of its money on pound USD and Euro USD. Euro USD it did make a lot more as well. Um, but yeah, the max drawdown at one stage was a negative $102,000, uh, which was pretty interesting. Like I was just wanting to see how this robot would go on, you know, doing one lot. So if you start with 50 grand, um, and how would it go? So basically in the first week, uh, unfortunately I can't share with you all what it kind of looked like at that time because I didn't do any video recording, but uh, in, in the first week it literally made like $10,000, $11,000 I think in the one week uh, trading these pairs. Um, and it just kept doing that. It just making more and more, or made more actually every week. Like sometimes it made 10 grand in a day, uh, you know, like this one here, 10 grand, thousand, two grand, four grand, 1000. Um, but yeah, there were days where there were like 10 grand days and I thought that was pretty cool. But as, as I thought, and as I knew that would happen, uh, it was over leveraged and I knew that at one point, uh, this account would blow and it did. So I just wanted to share with you guys, um, you know, that kind of fun process that you can do uh, to see if a robot will handle, um, you know, big lot sizes and what would what kind of account size you would need in order to um, deal with that. So one lot trading, uh, how many pairs? Five pairs is definitely too much um, it, it, with 50 grand. With 100 grand, I'll show you what happened on a different robot and we'll move to that. So... This one is called Expert Trader V6, and I don't recommend using this robot. <laughs> Long story short. Now, this was the other one that I started, but this one I started with a hundred grand, and I did this. I did the same thing. I there's a few less pairs, but uh, I did initial lot size of one, one lot, and it didn't make anywhere near as much. But it also hasn't blown the account. But look at this max drawdown level here. So this max drawdown level happened on the 8th of March. So pretty much like a few days after I started this experiment, uh, obviously it made a bit um, before then. But 
it almost blew it <laughs> i would call it blowing the account like if that was live and you're at negative 48 percent after a couple of days um i would tap out but i wouldn't let it get that far if i had 100k but um it, it survived but it survived obviously uh it's still going this account is now invalid and it made uh, 38,000 over the time it was trading for one month. So that's a 38% increase in a single month with a max drawdown of 48%, which is not cool. Um, but, you know, I, I wouldn't do this live, but it was just a, a test to see how it would fare and what kind of drawdown we would experience. We can see here that uh, the worst offender was USD CAD, and for some reason, um, USD, uh, oh no, that's here, Euro USD, and then yeah, for some reason I had Euro USD on there twice, and I didn't realize that until uh, much later down the experiment. So it's a bit unfair for to for Euro USD to have both, uh, but in saying that. Um, it never had really bad drawdown. Um, so its drawdown to profit ratio was actually positive compared to these other ones. And it ended up making, oh, it's kind of really hard to see, but $16,000 with the two charts, I think, going um, over that month period as well. And it roughly made, um, you know, let's just say it made a bit over $1,500 a day, um, averaged out over the week. So daily, it was, yeah, average out to be around about 1% and monthly 30% there. So for when it was going. So that's pretty cool. That's um, that's all I have to share with uh, with Perk, which is also called CleverFX. But the problem with this robot here, um, with Perk and CleverFX, I don't know if um, the, it's just the versions that I have, but a lot of these inputs here do not work correctly. So if you put the lot multiplier to uh, 1.2, um, it will not increase the lots at all because it uh, is not coded correctly to handle um, uh, values of like 0.2 or 0.1 or whatever. It can only do it in 0.5. Uh, and the reason being is that um, it's uh, not calculating a decimal value correctly and it just doesn't work. A lot of things that don't work as well um, are this one trade per candle uh, that didn't work allow hedging didn't work don't know about the spread max trades i didn't actually test um this lot cut i'm not sure if it worked but this rsi stuff and this moving average settings when i optimized on those values they didn't work um time management i didn't know if it worked because um, you can't back test with these values because they're strings uh, instead of inter integers or integers if I talk uh, correctly and the news was also buggy as well you can see here that the lines here are always back here and you'd find that pretty much every day you would have to put the thing on the chart again reset it so it does uh, does the news correctly so unfortunately that didn't work really well either so all in all I don't recommend Forex perk um, just for all of these reasons um, and I'm pretty sure there are better ones out there unfortunately but my EA is kind of like this but it has many better features and everything works uh, it's also uh, not out yet now this is one that went extremely well I was extremely impressed with this EA golden elephant robot trading gold now it could just be because gold um, has been in an uptrend uh, for a lot of this year so far. Uh, that could be the reason, I don't know. But it it literally, its its worst day was on the 5th of January, and it was negative 277. Uh, this account had been running for the longest. I don't know why, but um, it was running for almost uh, two months, a bit over, almost two months. Um, and its last trade was... When did it stop? On the 28th of last month. So it almost ran for two months, which was really, really surprising because most of these accounts only last for one month. But 
look at these results. And this is just on 0.01 lots. So it roughly made almost, well, let's just say almost probably $10 a day, I would say average. Um, and its daily percent was 0.61, monthly 18%. Um, so you could comfortably run this on a $500 account at 0.01 lots. And once, um, once you've made your money back, which would take a couple of months, uh, you would just then withdraw. But with this, obviously with gold, uh, what I would do is that any profits that you make for the week, you just withdraw it into another account and hold it. Or you can start another one of these going. Uh, but that is starting to put all your eggs in one basket. So can definitely recommend Golden Elephant. The only other thing I haven't done with this robot is tested on um, pairs other than gold. So it can actually trade um, normal Forex pairs. And um, I think I've seen people use it on indexes and maybe Bitcoin or uh, cryptocurrencies as well. So that might be worth looking into. But um, if you'd like to support the author, this one is actually on the MQL5 marketplace. And it is called EA Golden Elephant. Uh, I have it as well. I've supported the author. It's just uh, not on here on this laptop because uh, this laptop just gets slammed and there could be viruses and whatever on there. But anyway, so this other one as well, Forex Gold Investor, has been trading extremely well. I'm very, very impressed. This one is an account that's still running actually, but I'll probably start it again. And the reason being is that I'd like to start it on a bit bigger lot size and see uh, kind of how it goes. But roughly uh, the max drawdown is that I've seen or observed is negative $25 and it can make upwards of 20 bucks a day uh, sometimes depending on how gold behaves. But so far it has made $116 and I think this one has been only trading uh, for since the 14th of uh, last month of March. So it's only been trading for a couple of weeks. And uh, this is how it's done so far. So it's made $116 since it started. Really, really good. And um, I don't don't know if I'll keep it um, running on this account. This actually might be a new account. But what I'll do is I'd like to stress test it a little bit more and we'll get some bigger lot sizes happening here. So there's two systems. And we'll get um, 0 0.03, 0 0.03. Um, so I've got 1100 in the account. We'll see how that does. I'll give an update to you all in a video that I'll do at the end of the week, uh, which is in a couple of days. Um, and because I've got a lot of other robots I'm going to be adding to all of these terminals um, after this video, because uh, I just wanted to show you all how all these are going. Uh, before I get rid of them all, start with new fresh accounts, and um, then I can talk about the new robots that I'll be testing, which will be pretty cool as well. This one here, I think is, yeah, it's R Factor. Also did the, the one lot test with this robot, and as you can see here, it didn't end up going well at all. This one started at 10 grand, and it just had some wins, but it had more losses than wins. There's a lot of settings with this robot, and it's really, really hard to kind of test all of them. So uh, I might, uh, I'm going to give this one up uh, because I didn't have any good results with it. But uh, there is a lot of settings with this. There's a lot of set files. There's a decent community around this robot. So um, if you're willing to, have you got time and many terminals, you can definitely play with this and see if you can get something that works. But I couldn't. Uh, this one here is uh, this some hedge robot that was uh, suggested for me to test and at this stage I do not recommend it and this is the reason why. So we can see here, I'll open a new chart so you can kind of see on Euro, oh, where is it? Here we go. Ah, can't really see it. Uh, so right now we're in uh, in cells, and we're in $171 in drawdown. Now, 
most robots will probably be in drawdown after this double move. I'd saw this a double move because we got move up one, consolidation, move up two, and that's a pretty big move. Like, you know, it's a pretty big move. And, you know, it's it's in a fair bit of drawdown. It's in a, a bit of trouble. But the problem is it's this has happened, what, one, two, three, four, five times now. And it's only made $72. Now, it's max drawdown. Oh, I don't have it, but it's it's daily max drawdown. It's $301. And right now, it's 165 Your margin level is decreasing. Your margin is increasing because, you know, we're up to 0.18 lots. And it only makes... It makes peanuts when it closes all of these orders when it could make so much more. So this is why I'm not suggesting to use this robot uh, because of that reason. The drawdown to profit ratio is 367% in the negative, which is terrible. Um, yeah, just just not good at all. And it might be because I'm using the H1 time frame. It might be because I don't know what the settings are to use for this. Um, but what I can do, like there's there's a few settings here. But what I can do is try it on a different time frame. Uh, maybe like the 15 minute time frame. And you know, this account's still going. I might leave it and see what it's doing, but honestly, I'll probably get rid of it. It's to me, it's not worth it. I might do a quick back test actually. Let's do that now. Uh, this one here, we'll try it on M15. We'll do it on Euro USD, which is here. We don't use the date. We'll use the current spread. And I think default settings, which is what I used. Yep. And we'll make this a thousand. And we'll see what happens here. So what it will probably do is get some uh, backtesting data, history data, which will, might start shortly, or it might have some. It's, some. it's just not clean data, this is why you get all these errors, so disregard that. Um, we're going to, I'll go to something else and we'll come back. Oh, here we go, we've got some, it's starting to do, so some EAs don't backtest, and some do. Uh, so we can see here that it is now back testing off a thousand. So this video might get choppy, sorry. So we'll see how it goes. This one here, uh, this one here is another one that was recommended for me to test. This is called Funded Trading EA. And it has been running much better. However, as you can see here, same thing. It, they're, both, they're both actually very similar robots. Um, in terms of like how they trade. This one hasn't made as much, but also the drawdown, I believe, has been, well, this is gonna make me a liar, but let's have a look here. Max DD percent, yeah. These, these values are all wrong, so what I might do is, uh, like it can't, can't be 1365 as max drawdown because the account is you know, 1048. So that's wrong. Um, what I'll do is um, I'll try and refresh this. What I have to do is turn the computer or this terminal off and back on again. Hopefully it will update this max drawdown and we'll get it fresh. But um, yeah, the drawdown that I've seen on this has been way less than what the other one has been. So yeah, look at that. Negative $73 or 7% uh, for this one but it has made 48. So it hasn't made, you know, it's drawdown to profit ratio is still negative. It has been in more drawn that it has made profit, um, but it hasn't been in anywhere near as much drawdown and it's made kind of the ratio is much better. It's still not good, but the ratio is much better. But the problem is when I backtest this, uh, it doesn't backtest well at all either. So <laughs> uh, take what you will with that. Now these steps here is where it um, it's basically just it's just a Martin Gale grid EA um, in a nutshell. That's what this is. We can see the results here. So it just goes up two, three, five, eight, two, three, five, eight, 
and then it goes 8 to 16, probably then to 32, because it's, uh, no, 8, 12, 18, 27. So yeah, it is increasing by multiples. You can see there. Don't know how long this will take, so we'll move on to the last one. And this was interesting as well. This one's called um, Market Re Reversal Alerts. But it's using a it's using a universal indicator called FRZ Indicator Automator. Uh, and it uses the Market Reversal Alerts Indicator to open and close positions. Now, the thing is, is with, uh, which one is it? I think it's UJ. Yeah, this account's invalid now, so nothing's open, but uh, USD JPY, it's gone. I can't actually even, can I look at it? Yeah. So basically what happened is, oh, it's, I don't know, it's going to make me lie now. They look like they're cells and the market's underneath. Interesting. Anyway, um, don't know what's going on there. Well, it's probably because, yeah, this is where it was. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. Um, so yeah, basically UJ just kept going up. It opened two cells. It didn't close them. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is buys. Um, but, you know, if you can get this thing to, you can get it to close um, if it goes bad. I mean, look at this. For the month it made 27K. But the max drawdown is negative six grand because of those UJ trades. So I think it's worth um, doing some more testing and seeing if we can get it to um, maybe close some trades if they're not going well. But the trades that it did take were all pretty good. Uh, we can have a look here at how, kind of how it went. I started with 10 grand. Um, it is doing um, different kind of lot sizes. There are some loss days like USDCAD. There was a loss there. There's a loss there of 72 on GJ. Um, you know, there's a loss of 114 here on pound USD. But it just seems like those um, those two trades that it took with um, with UJ were the only two that it took and it never closed them. So that could be, oh no, here's one here. That could be a problem with the the robot maybe had, had a bit of a malfunction or I don't know, but look at these results. It kind of speaks for itself, right? It did pretty well, I reckon, apart from those two bad trades. So I'm gonna start this one again, probably get rid of um, UJ because I find that yen pairs and the robots just they just don't work. I've I've never seen a a robot or an EA work with a yen pair well and make a heap of profit. I've I haven't ever seen one. If you've seen one, let me know. I'd love to see it because um, yeah, all yen pair robots just never seem to really work real well, um, or they're buggy or they just blow up real quick. So if you've seen one, obviously let me know and that'd be pretty cool. Right, and there you have it. So this is exactly what I was expecting. Uh, it probably run out of margin. Bingo, there's your stop out. Um, so bingo. This is what you can do. Obviously the data, uh, the data is not, you know, the quality is not there, 60%, better than 25. But this is exactly what I was thinking that what would happen. And this is why, another reason why I don't recommend this robot. So I'm going to get rid of this, probably keep the other one going and I'll um, add some more pairs to it. And that will pretty much round up this video. I have done a lot of talking. Thank you very much if you're still here. And yeah, I've got some really cool stuff to, to show you all at the end of this week uh, with some new robots. And yeah, this platform that I'm building is going to be pretty sweet. Um, I've got another platform that I'm building that is really technical and it's really hard um i haven't got any help with that either but that is coming out soon as well so yeah i've got some really cool stuff to share with you all thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the video at the end of the week bye bye